Good morning, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters. It is January 3rd, 2017. We are here at the Scarlato residence near Hunters Creek. And I just had to make a video of this house. Um, John, great guy. The homeowner here super cool guy super easy to get along with everything's been fantastic he called me to paint his house and I noticed on this side of the house it would just peel and paint like unbelievable in fact I didn't even really want to do the job it was so bad you could rub your hand across it would just I've never seen I've been in the business for 27 years and I've never seen a house chalkier than this one paint was peeling up all over the house it looked like potato chips all over the house or something and I really kind of didn't even want to do the job just because you never know what you're gonna run into down the road I mean we prep like crazy we seal we do everything patch cracks I mean we do everything the right way but you still just never know what you're gonna run into I couldn't even warranty the house so As you can see, this whole entire house, we just uh, used pressure washers with uh, rotary turbo tips and the paint just came off like unbelievable. You can see it. And then below all that, there's a million cracks in this house that so they've gone through probably three gallons of cover crack already, which is kind of absurd for a residential house, you know. All these windows were painted let me see if I can uh, get back here. Uh, I'll probably have to go the other way. So we're getting all the cracks patched right now, plasking off all the windows, patching all the cracks. We'll shoot a sealer on the house, and then the entire house will get painted with. Uh, Sherwin Williams Super Paint. Uh, the fascia and soffits are not getting done in this house. Um, they really should be done, but uh, that wasn't my call. So I think he's going to be putting the house on the market to sell. So he wasn't trying to spend. You know, a crazy amount of money trying to get it uh, back to perfect so I mean you can see the when I looked at the house I didn't it was like I was saying how I couldn't warranty it I mean only really the that now the right hand side of the house had the peel and paint all over it the rest of it wasn't feeling. And as the guys got here and they were pressure washing, it just started coming right off the house. I mean, my foreman called and said, man, you see this house? And I'm like, yeah, I've seen it. Of course, I bit it. And he said that paint's just coming off like in sheets, you know, all over the place. So I think a lot of it in the back here just kind of washed down the house. And then other areas that were just it was like it was snow and paint flakes, you know? I don't know who painted this house last, if it was the homeowner or what. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, look at that window up there. It's all painted, all the metal's painted green, except for the track in the middle. They got overspray all over the soffits. The sliding glass door was painted like a cream colored co color, this window cream color. So we're going to have to plaster that all off and we're going to spray it the same as the body color, I guess. That's the decision that was made. Same thing up there. Windows painted. Sliding glass doors painted. 
paint's wearing off on the bottom of the sliding glass door there. More overspray on the corner up there. These soffits probably really should be painted, but again, it wasn't my call. Painted the light there by the sliding glass window there. There's paint all over that. I don't know what happened here, what the story is behind it. I think the customer bought it. It was in foreclosure or something. So it's kind of what you get, I guess. Everything's cracked out. All these corners here. All the windows are cracked out. There's some kind of uh, spray foam here on this window. So we're gonna take a razor blade and cut it flush to the window and try to caulk it up the right way so it doesn't have any water intrusion problems. one of the worst I've seen as far as getting ready for paint I mean they're caulking I got six guys on this house I usually don't even put that many guys on the house this size but I knew there was gonna be prep 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 galore so they'll get it all prepped and the weather co cooperates with us here we'll, uh, we'll we'll get it done in one day Again, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters. www.orlandopainters.net Thanks for watching this short video of one of our more challenging <laughs> Orlando residential painting projects. take some before, during, and after photos and post them on our Facebook business page when, once we get the opportunity. I kind of wish these soffits were getting painted, but it kind of make our final product look a little better. But there'll be a dramatic change. He's going to a, a kind of a darker gray color on uh, the body. The trim's all going pretty much the same color that's on here now. Hopefully we can uh, touch up these some of these soffits that we got overspray on a lot of stuff. So hopefully we can, like this piece right here that runs above the garage door. Somebody at one point put a like a paint tester sample right there in the corner and then decided never to do anything. So it's kind of weird. But we're going to have to paint that. He's got some overspray underneath that bay window thing there, kind of like that, that soffits there got some green overspray. So hopefully we can touch up some of this stuff for him and it'll blend in halfway decent. There's a, the customer here is a great guy and I'll do whatever for him. I don't nickel and dime people to death or anything. If I can make it look a little better for him in certain areas that he didn't pay to get done. No, I'll certainly go the extra mile for him. Again, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters, LLC. Appreciate you watching this short video. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.